step-by-step -step guide to concrete pouring on site. Hello, and welcome back to Rigid Academy, the ultimate hub for construction engineers, site managers, and civil engineering enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a complete step-by-step -step guide for concrete pouring on site. Concrete pouring is a critical stage in construction, and mistakes here can lead to structural issues, cracks, or even project delays. By the end of this guide, you'll know exactly how to plan, prepare, pour, and cure concrete efficiently and safely using real-world examples and practical tips from experienced engineers. Planning your concrete. Pour before any concrete pouring starts. Planning is crucial. This includes understanding the project specifications, site conditions, concrete mix design, and labor requirements. Check the project drawings. Start by reviewing the structural drawings. Know the exact dimensions, reinforcement layout, and locations of formwork. For example, at Rigid Academy, we always emphasize marking the pore areas clearly on site to avoid confusion. Estimate concrete quantity. Calculate the volume of concrete needed. Don't forget to include a wastage factor, typically 5 to 10%, depending on the complexity of the pore. Accurate estimation prevents delays caused by insufficient concrete on site. Schedule the pour. Concrete pouring should be scheduled when weather conditions are favorable. Avoid rainy days for exposed slabs. For large pours, plan in stages with continuous monitoring. Coordinate equipment and labor. Make sure all necessary tools, concrete mixers, pumps, vibrators, wheelbarrows, and trowels are ready. Assign specific roles to workers and ensure they understand the workflow. This is a key tip from Rigid Academy's Site Management Guidelines. Clarity in roles prevents confusion and errors. Preparing the site and formwork. Once planning is complete, preparation begins. Proper preparation ensures that the concrete pour will be smooth and problem-free. Formwork inspection. Check formwork for stability, alignment, and cleanliness. Any debris or loose panels can result in uneven surfaces or concrete leakage. Apply release agents on the formwork to prevent concrete from sticking. Reinforcement check. Inspect steel reinforcement for proper placement, spacing, and cover. Use chairs, spacers, and ties to maintain correct positioning. Rigid Academy emphasizes this step as it directly impacts the structural integrity of the concrete. Site safety measures. Before the pour, ensure safety barriers, warning signs, and PPE for all workers. Concrete pours can be hazardous, and safety should always be the first priority. Moistening the substrate. For slabs, footings, and other structural elements, dampen the base to prevent rapid water absorption from the fresh concrete. This helps reduce cracks and improves curing efficiency. Mixing concrete concrete can be mixed on-site or delivered as ready mix. Each method has its advantages and challenges. On-site mixing. Use accurate proportions of cement, sand, aggregates, and water according to the mix design. Check the slump value to ensure workability. Too dry or too wet concrete can cause problems during placement. Ready mix concrete. Coordinate the delivery schedule with your site plan to avoid delays. Inspect the concrete before pouring. Take samples for slump test and temperature checks. Additives and admixtures. Depending on the project, you may need plasticizers, retarders, or waterproofing admixtures. These help achieve desired performance, especially in challenging climates. Rigid Academy often recommends consulting with the concrete supplier before using any additives to ensure compatibility. Pouring concrete step-by-step -step now, the actual pouring process begins. Efficiency and precision are key. Start pouring at one end, begin at one corner, and move gradually across the formwork. Avoid dumping concrete randomly, which can create voids and uneven layers. Layering and compaction. For deep pours, place concrete in layers, typically 300 to 500 millimeters thick. Use mechanical vibrators to remove air pockets and ensure full compaction. Rigid Academy emphasizes the importance of this step for strength and durability. Continuous monitoring. Assign supervisors to check the flow, level, and alignment constantly. Any deviation should be corrected immediately. Finishing surface. Use screening tools to level the concrete surface. 
For slabs, a bull float can help smooth the top layer. For specialized finishes, like exposed aggregate or broom finishes, apply the method according to the project requirements. Curing and quality control. Proper curing is essential to achieve maximum concrete strength. Moist curing. Keep the surface damp using water sprays, wet burlap, or curing compounds. Avoid letting concrete dry too quickly. Temperature control. In hot climates, prevent rapid water loss by shading or covering. In cold climates, consider thermal blankets or heated enclosures to maintain curing temperature. Quality checks. Perform slump, cube, and cylinder tests to monitor the concrete's performance. Record results for documentation in future reference. Rigid Academy strongly recommends maintaining detailed curing logs, which help identify issues before they escalate. Common challenges and solutions. Concrete pouring can face multiple challenges. Here are some practical tips. Segregation. Avoid dropping concrete from excessive heights. Use chutes or pumps. Cold joints. Plan continuous pours. If interrupted, roughen the surface before resuming. Cracking. Ensure proper reinforcement. Curing and avoid excessive water content. Real world example. At Rigid Academy's training sites, we once conducted a slab pour for a mid-sized industrial building by pre-planning the pour schedule, assigning workers to specific zones, using vibrators continuously, monitoring weather conditions, we achieved a smooth, crack-free slab. This real-world example demonstrates that attention to detail and planning are more important than rushing the process. To-do list for efficiency. Keep tools ready and organized. Use a concrete pump for faster placement in large areas. Train workers on proper vibratory techniques. Maintain constant communication via radios or site supervisors. Conclusion. Concrete pouring is more than just mixing and pouring. It's a carefully coordinated process that requires planning, preparation, and attention to detail. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you'll save time, reduce errors, and ensure long-lasting structures. Remember, all these techniques and insights are part of the Rigid Academy philosophy, where practical, hands-on knowledge meets modern construction practices. If you found this guide useful and are interested in more like this video, subscribe to Rigid Academy and hit the bell icon to receive more in-depth construction tutorials. Share your experiences and questions in the comments. We love hearing from our viewers.